Hello, welcome back to the final part of my Flag Panzer 38Z build. I use masking fluid to secure the hatches, then once the model is painted, I can remove them and leave them in an open position. The fenders look quite thick so I sand them down with a file and a mini drill to make them thinner. To create a rusted texture on the exhaust I cover it with extra thin glue and then roll it between my fingers several times. To improve the exhaust pipe I drill it out and then use a knife to make it deeper and thinner.
I lost one of the handles, but luckily I was able to find a replacement out of my spare parts.
I had damaged the wheels using a knife and a micro drill. One side of the drive sprockets were damaged so I had to repair them using Tamiya putty. Uh, the result isn't perfect but once the mud is added and other weathering effects it shouldn't be noticeable. The tracks in the kit should be workable, but for me they were too delicate, so I just glued them together. Now the build is complete and I can start painting. I start by painting everything dark grey, then I paint the base colour dark yellow. I add some highlights with a mixture of buff and the same dark colour. I paint the camouflage pattern with some flat green and, and dark green. The pattern is not really accurate but I saw it in a book and thought it would look good. Now that the painting is complete I spray the model with a gloss varnish. For the transfers I use Mr. Mark Setter and Mr. Mark Soft. I've also used Micro Set and Micro Soul and for me they're all the same. After the transfers are dried, I spray a matte coat. Now that all the spray painting is completed, I remove some of the hatches that had been set in place with the masking fluid.
Using yellow oil paint, I add a filter to reduce the contrast of the camouflage colours. Now I add a dark brown wash to highlight all of the details and recessed areas. I remove the excess with a cotton bud, brush and odorless thinner. The filter removed too much of the contrast on the camouflage, so I added it back using some oil paints. Next I use the oil dot technique to add some different tones. Usually I apply them as streaks though as I find it easier to blend them. I do the same technique again on the flat surfaces, but this time I blend the colours randomly. For the exhaust I use several rust stone pigments which I brush paint on. I use the same colours for the tracks, but this time it's more diluted and I also speckle on some of the paint. Using a pencil, I add a metallic effect to the edges of the tracks. Now I add chipping using a sponge and brush, first using a lighter colour than the base and then using a dark rust colour.
For the track I use very thin acrylic paints which I apply randomly. I add oil streaks to the wheels using black oil paint. I create a cloth using tissue paper soaked in white glue and water. So this is the finished model. Overall, I'm quite happy with it. The build was difficult, but I think it looks good. Thank you for watching the video.